Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now we are currently on cycle 16 about now and we do have another delivery. So let's take a quick look at that blueprints. We've got Ellie, Max, Mary and Murph Leaf Seed. Uh, so pretty good dupes and to be honest we could use digging right now. And out of those two I think Marie seems to be like the better of them. Uh, let's fix up a schedule as well. We'll set up a, a different one right after uh, the first one. So let's do three hours for that and then the rest will be will be working. So we'll put Marie and um, who else? Let's see. Maybe, maybe Bubbles on this schedule instead. Okay, that seems to be fixed now. So that's all good. Priorities wise, Marie is going to be our main. Uh, you'll go into digging, building, operating perhaps as well. Okay, so that's good. Skills wise, Marie, let's give you, let's give you digging. All right, fantastic. Now, for this episode, what the plan is, is to fix up this a little bit. We want to move all the algae terrariums just underneath here, just below the deodorizers. And then what we also want to do is create a better toilet system for our duplicants. And I think we'll do it up here. All right, um, or shall we? Yeah, let's uh, let's make it up there instead. So we'll queue up a few commands and hopefully Frankie and Mary. You know what? We should probably also change Frankie. Building should be your main thing. So if you carry on with building everything, then Mary can uh, do all the digging commands. Now looking at the oxygen here as well, seems to be okay. Slowly getting better. If we look at the gas overlay, there's a lot of polluted oxygen. Which they can breathe, but it would be also nice if it's... Uh, what's happening with you? Oh, pressure is really low. Okay, well, we'll fix that very shortly. If we can please get these ones done. And then uh, we'll put in a few dials as well to help the airflow just a little bit. Alright, and we'll move all the bends up uh, up here. Can we please actually construct them first? Uh, so that way Marie is going to have uh, somewhere to sleep and let's do the same with eating as well. Then research wise, what are we doing right now? Can we find this? Okay, yeah, we've got the water sieve almost done. So that's actually fantastic. Um, I'm also trying to move things around a little bit. So let's have the water uh, the pitcher bump actually on that side. See, okay, we'll have to wait until this one's taken out with the ladder as well, actually. Let's extend it all the way down. Have we done the table? Yes, we have. Marie, this is for you. Marie's already taken that bed. Okay, fantastic. Everyone has a has a bed now. Let's move you guys just up here as well. And I think these beds can be taken out now. And who was the last one? Rowan, I think. Yep. And he's all good now. Okay, we've got the terrariums downstairs now. What we'd like to start doing is cleaning up that oxygen a little bit. So I'd like all the all the polluted oxygen to be uh, generated just below here. Probably also do that. And then uh, let it go th through deodorizers and then head straight up. Okay, let's... Um, I'll carry on with uh, digging all this area up a little bit and we'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, another research is done. So let's take a quick look at our screen in here as well. I believe the next thing we would like to have is the liquid reservoir and then we can move on to different pipes as well. So let's uh, let's get that one done. And as soon as we get... Uh, actually, we can already start putting in a few things. So we'll definitely need a couple of sinks. Uh, so we'll do one, two... Three, four. We don't need them, all of them just yet. So we'll try and plan it. And two toilets. Okay, so that's good. And then we're still going to need two toilets later. Uh, just to plan it out a little bit. I think it's going to be this far. But we don't need it just yet. And with the water sieve as well. We've uh, got to explore the map a little bit more. But let's just set the slightly better facilities for all our duplicates. And as soon as that's done, then we'll go and explore. So with the water sieve, it's probably going to go somewhere somewhere out here. And if we plan this out as well, I'd li like to leave a five wide uh, gap in here. And we could do water sieve right, well, probably right next to it. All right, so things are uh, going pretty slowly right now. We do have another delivery, so let's take a quick look at that. Nothing particularly 
interesting or that we need. Although building and digging. Uh, <laughs> that could be another one actually. A little bit worried about our food situation, but we could definitely improve that. Um, yeah, things are... We have a lot of projects that need to be done, and we definitely need at least three builders. Or, or that can also dig. So I think actually, yeah, why not? Let's take May into the colony as well. And let's hope we are not gonna die. So again, I think we'll do a two-person schedules. So we'll have another one just over here. Okay, and that's gonna be a schedule for May. It seems to be uh, she's an early bird, so she'll get a bonus working in the in the early hours as well. And with May, I think we'll give the priority to building uh, things. And also with the Rowan, farming already is the max level, so we'll we'll keep it at that. When it comes to skill points, let's have a look. May, where are you? Let's give you construction. And we'll give you a hat as well. There we go. And another set of printables are ready. I don't think we're going to get any more dupes right now. Five is more than enough. In fact, we're getting really low on the food end of things right now. So we'll probably take some coal instead. And, um, okay, so we do have a couple of plants that are almost ready. So let's queue up a few more of you. And maybe one more here. Now the research is done. Smart battery. Okay, so we should be able to start doing... If we look at the power real quick, we've got the coal uh, generator here. And that, this is probably the level where we where we want things. Okay, so that's uh, starting to look fairly good. Now we could probably start digging downwards a little bit as well. We'll take out these two bits in here. And let's give the highest priority for, for these links. Alright, we are almost ready. The pump is already working. There's water going in into our facilities here. The last bit that's uh, just left to do here is just to get this final final piece of pump in. Uh, not the pump, sorry, the uh, pipes. And as soon as that is done, we can uh, actually start demolishing, I believe. Yeah, we should be able to take these ones out now. Because we don't really, really need them anymore. And the lavatory... Oh, this one says empty pipe. And it's not going there. Let's take a look. If we just sever the connection... Ah, perfect. Okay, and we'll put a couple more toilets here, just in case. Oh, not up there, just down here. Don't think it's really needed right now, because we only have, if you look at the schedule, two people, or two uh, duplicates per, per schedule, so they should be able to just uh, use two, but uh, just for good measure, actually, let's, yeah, just, just have three. And uh, the water tank is nearly complete here as well. Just left to do... Uh, add in a couple more sections here. Farm is also expanded a little bit. We've got a few extra meal plants. But uh, I think generating oxygen is... Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna take a little bit of time. And the plan really for that day is if we put down one of those liquid reservoirs here... We are gonna... Uh, let's keep going a little bit lower. What we'll do is all this polluted water... Is going to be filtered by the uh, by the sieve, and once this tank is full, that's our buffer for the for the toilets. Everything else is gonna be uh, sent into into this tank there. And what we might actually do as well is empty some of those pools into here, so that way we can have a lot more uh, polluted water just waiting at the bottom here. I think uh, I'll have to remind myself how we can force them to off gas at all times. I thought it was something to do with having water in the bottom. Maybe we need a little bit more, but for some reason right now it's it's over pressured, so uh, they're not off gassing a lot. Now, next things we would like to do is start moving downwards a little bit. There is a whole lot of polluted oxygen in here, and if we can uh, just dig down there and have those deodorizers ready, then that's gonna mean a lot more oxygen for a little bit as well. Until we can at least uh, have this somewhat more more functional. Now, with the water itself, I believe that should be enough. So as soon as all this water has gone through, we'll reconnect them, uh, these two pipes up as well. Because we will be starting to build up some some water that's going to be enough for, for our toilets. And overall, uh, this system is going to be uh, water positive. 
So a little bit of water goes in, but a little bit extra will come out. So that's why we're going to have this overfill just down here. That's also going to be our oxygen producer. Now, now the printable is ready. Let's take a look. Do we need anything? No, the only two but I accept right now is if they had mechatronics engineering. Uh, what's happening here? Pressure. Oh, yeah. A whole lot of carbon dioxide that we also want to want to get rid of. And we'll do this very, very shortly as well. All right, so the next step, yeah, let's put another deodorizer just over here. We'll give you a priority of six. And I think it will be also to uh, switch over those basins over here and to put one of those proper sinks instead of them. So that way we're not going to have those empty polluted water tanks on the floor. So let's just do this real quick. And just like before... Actually, if this is going to be our entrance and the dupes are going to go in and out, we might do a couple here, actually. Let's put in three. And as soon as this pipe is gone, we don't have to worry about it anymore. But uh, for the time being, I think this should be should be doable. And then these ones will just take it through, around and into, into the main line as well. And here comes all that delicious polluted oxygen that hopefully we'll be able to filter as it goes up this uh, chimney over over there and with that side as well because we've got so much carbon dioxide and it's going to be quite difficult for it to flow down all this all this way where we will have to figure something else out in here and i think the solution will be just to uh, let's see we'll keep expanding and emptying all this water out into into this section once the water is drained we'll uh, ladder down and try and grab this last bit of water and bring it to our main pool as well. Now we took at the gas overlay again. Yep, some of that CO2 is moving towards right, but right now it doesn't really have an escape because the oxygen is blocking this way as well. But at least we're getting some more polluted oxygen going up. Yeah, this is actually nicely pressurized over here already, up to a thousand grams per tile. So that's really good. Now, direction, let's change you to left for all these. And is this pipe empty? Yes, we are. So that's fantastic. Which means we can uncheck those ones. Let's bring the pipes up again. And like so. And into the mainstream. There we go. That should be, that should be good. And now we can connect you up. And the water's filling now back to the uh, bathroom loop over here. So the next couple of uh, things we would like to do is... Oh, wait. We are going to need the research first. We'll have to find the insulation tiles. They should be somewhere here. Up oh, there we go. We do have this natural gas geyser here. But it seems the gas is at 150 degrees, which is pretty toasty and uh, we'd like to because we're not really able to use it just yet i'd like to just block it in and then hopefully not have to deal with this for at least a little while until we have a, some better materials that can handle this sort of temperature because i think most things that we have right now would most likely melt in this con contraption but yeah other than that Oxygen is coming in. That's starting to work out quite nicely. We're just adding up a bit of polluted water that we can find here and there. But overall, things are starting to look much better now. Then the next thing, when it comes to power, we need some refined metal. And I think we will find some in the bottom layer. But we just have to dig a little bit, a little bit deeper. And I guess we could also empty this tank. We can and we shall Let's do that and as we keep climbing down we'll also keep expanding our deodorizer a section here as well and we'll give them a slightly higher priority that should be good and it does look there's ooh, a lot of uh, oxygen here actually it is all polluted but that's okay we can we can just always clean it up as it travels up towards this uh this shoot over here so we finally have the insulated tiles we are going to use igneous rock because that has the uh it's low heating and uh it, it's gonna keep the heat in for for quite some time we don't really need a double layer if if we wanted to we could have double layers and then the heat is never gonna escape pretty much 
but for now we just want to lock it in uh, for the for the time being and once we have some better materials then we'll open it up again and and use some of that natural gas for our cooking but also probably for, for some power as well since we are going to have a bit of extra natural gas that we can definitely and will will use okay so now we just have to take it nice and slow fill in the corner bit and by doing this diagonally we will be able to completely seal it off and new principle so let's take a quick look at that as well tubes i don't think we can take anyone else right now because our food situation is not very good at all in the next episode we'll um, get into ranching as well and hopefully start making some barbecue uh, very very soon but for the time being yeah this is going to be our last mission here just to seal it in what we're also doing is trying to get some more access to to a few more plants around around the area just to give us a little bit of extra extra food research is again done so i think we do have everything that we desperately need now we'll most likely go into automation and then we'll just start researching everything there is because I don't think I can see anything. Yep, we don't really need those for cooling systems, no. And there isn't anything. Yeah, well, auto sweepers and automation would be nice. But right now we just don't really have anyone that can construct those. Because for that we are going to need someone with the mechatronic skills. And if we look over here, that takes quite a few, uh, quite a few morale points, so... We're not that that far just yet. At least I'm pretty happy with our O2 situation right now. Everything seems to be nicely pressurized. And carbon dioxide is condensed into, into this area as well, which we'll, we'll soon enough get, get rid of. And we are done. Mission complete. Natural gas geyser is now properly sealed in. And we don't have to worry about this very, very hot gas that's going to come out from there. Now, other than that as well, it seems if we take uh, the oxygen overlay again, uh, we've also done well over here where the pressure is up to 1,500 almost up here, which is great. Now, the next uh, worry that we or a problem that we have to solve is our food. And with that, ranching is going to be the key. So that's what we'll we'll do in the next episode. And we'll probably want to tidy up this water tank in here as well, but we'll have plenty in different different sections. Other than that, thank you very much for joining in this episode, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.